I want to tell you about two advances I've made uh, I'm going to share with you today um, dealing with two different issues. One is the patent on this uh, Crest valve that I got off a neat squeeze bottle that uh, Crest sells uh, and how I came up with another valve uh, that can do the same thing. Uh, the other issue is the deformable plunger which I've invented in order to get the uh, last inch of liquid easily out of the bottle and I've been having trouble with that. So both those two uh, issues have been resolved. Um, I do want to just share a couple of caveats. First, obviously this is a model that I've made by hot gluing various parts together. So it's much more bulky and not as efficient uh, as when this will finally be done. It's just a working model, a prototype. Uh, the other thing, things like uh, this amount of wasted space down here, um, again, when it's machined properly and with uh, more research, this space will be greatly reduced to be much, much less, so the liquid bag will be much bigger. Uh, also, I want to point out that the way the bottle is designed, the bottle itself is fairly expensive, but the consumer will be buying the bottle just one time. And then after that, the only thing the consumer would be buying is just replacement bags. So the initial purchase might be a little more expensive, but after that, the uh, replacement bags will be cheaper than uh, current packaging. So I think uh, altogether it's a very good system. Uh, the first issue was that uh, before this I was having difficulty getting the last inch of liquid out if it was a very viscous uh, liquid because the rear bag would just compress instead of, uh, in, instead of expelling the last inch. Now the way I solved that was creating a new rear bag. This is uh, an example of one. And in this end here I have put water and heat sealed it in there. So that's just water in there and I call this the deformable plunger. And it's deformable, but it's not compressible. So as the rear airbag, as this part fills with air, as this part fills with air, this water-filled part is pushed near the top of the bottle, and in the end, this deformable plunger expels the liquid easily. And that was one issue that I had to take care of. That's good. Um, another issue that I had to deal with is I recently found out that this Crest valve I've been using, uh, someone else owns the patent on that specific design and I didn't know that. So um, years ago I came up with my own design that I think with research could be made to work uh, as good as the Crest valve. I can't make it quite as good as the Crest valve right now, uh, but with some research I believe it can be done. And uh, I've been using this for 10 years and this is public domain. So there's no worries with that. So what I did was I just took a regular, uh, the end of a pen, and I drilled some holes in it. And then I took some uh, rubber I got off a regular helium balloon, and I made it into a little cylinder. And so this, I just slip over the end of the pen, like that. And this... And this creates what I call the balloon valve, so that the liquid can travel up through there, and uh, it is a one-way valve. And I think that, uh, as I said with research, I think that it will work uh, uh, every bit as good as the Crest valve if it's needed. I would like to demonstrate the deformable plunger. Uh, you can't really see it here. Maybe next time I'll put colored water uh, for the deformable plunger, but it's here. And I'm going to use the crest valve uh, to demonstrate this. So you'll notice that now this is uh, margarine. It's very easy to squeeze. And as you can see, the uh, rear bag is filling up here. So I'll just squeeze all this margarine out. And uh, as I said, it's uh, really easy to squeeze. And the 
deformable plunger is going to push this last inch out that I've had trouble getting out before. Okay, and so then uh, even if there's a little drop left at the end, the consumer will be able to easily get that, like right at the end, if they want to get like every last bit, they can just squeeze out the last bit. You see there just a drop that comes out. And then that's it. Then the consumer would uh, take a replacement bag. Again, when it's finally done, it'd be a lot more streamlined than this. This is a little bulky just because of the materials I have to work with. So the consumer would then Just put in the new bag, like that, lock it on, then once it's in they could take this cap off and put on the, uh, the valve and then the bottle is ready to use again. I would like to demonstrate the uh, balloon valve, which I use for non-viscous substances. This is just colored water in here, but I'd imagine things like soy sauce or maybe um, uh, uh, eye wash for like contact lenses or, or anything that's uh, very watery. So I will uh, squeeze it out here. and uh, it squeezes very easily. You can see the rear airbag uh, filling up. And with the new deformable plunger that I have, uh, I am going to be able to get this last inch out. Now it does get a little more difficult towards the end to squeeze, uh, but with that deformable plunger, I think that it's uh, uh, acceptable. Now when I get to the very end, the consumer would be able to take this off and if there's like a last little drop in there, uh, a person could still get, you know, like every last drop out if they wanted to. Just the last drop or so. That's good. I'd like to now demonstrate the balloon valve with something more viscous. I'm going to be doing sour cream. Um, I think the balloon valve could be uh, gotten to work with something real thick like margarine. Um, and so forth, but it might need some technical be ability beyond what I'm able to do. Uh, experimenting with different types of uh, size holes, different types of thicknesses of rubber, and so on and so forth. Uh, so I, I think that it can be gotten to work with, uh, with very viscous things, but I'm just going to demonstrate it now with sour cream. And uh, just to show that for some thick, uh, for some very viscous things, it will work. Now it's not as easy to see, to differentiate between the white bag and the air bag, but uh, the air bag is rising. And so sour cream does work with it as well.